Anyway, Jess, did you get my correction mails? Huh? Uh. Tak pun. Which email did you send it to? Like usual lah, Gmail. Oh, uh, I tak pakai that email anymore. Can you send to my Hotmail one? Why do you keep changing your email? <laughs> wow, you sure change email as often as you change sexual. Bro. <laughs> what? Don't stare too long, sis. I'm not gonna fall in love with me. Okay, hashtag no hetero. <sighs> Have you ever wondered, like, how straight people have sex? It's like so weird. Eee, girly lah. Disgusting. Right? It's kind of gross. These people are definitely going to hell, yeah. Do you remember that Tuhan ke? I know, right? Like, for example, my cousin just came out as straight to his dad's. And they were like so devastated, you know? Because they're like really, really religious. Anyway, his name is Brandon. Jasmine. Do you know him? Jasmine. Jazzy. What? Do you know Brandon, my cousin? Straight. I don't have to answer your stupid questions, Jason. How on earth would I even know him? Like, you guys probably met at some hetero bar, you know? There's a hetero bar? Ish, girly lah. From the Europe. Hey, Jasmine. Hey. Oh, I'm gonna grab a refill, be right back. Oh lord, what happened? The coffee is so salty. I guess strip people taste buds still work out. Huh? <laughs> Excuse me? So you got a little bit of something just on your face there. So Here? Uh, no, no, other side. Here. So that's the thing you do. What's wrong? Uh, is there anything on my lips? Um, no, but... Were you just imagine kissing me? No, no, you... No... Okay, because you know I'm normal, right? What is that supposed to mean? I'm normal too. I mean, I'm not like you. I'm, I'm gay. Good afternoon, Miss Maha. I, I gotta go. Thank you for the coffee. Everything is a joke, eh? Huh? Orang lain gurau lucu, ni? Ni bikin panas saja. Leju aku. You guys are all the same. I thought you were different. I look so bad in this picture. No, baby. You look beautiful in all photographs. <laughs> uh, to the left, to the left, okay? People want to smoke. Okay. Okay, can you not, like, touch me? It was an accident. I'm a very attractive man. I know that, okay? But I am gay, okay? I am not into you, alright? Hashtag no atro. I'm gila about you. I have better taste, okay? So, Jasmine. Have you ever been to the girl before? Is it important? Just ask me. No. Then how would you know you're straight? I mean, maybe you just never met the right girl yet. Stop it, Simran. It's not time to joke. I'm not joking. I can help you. To make you gay. The only thing you're good at making me right now is making me uncomfortable. Here. No, stop it! Too pretty to be straight. Stop it, Simran, I swear! So, as I was saying, I was reviewing your application earlier and 
Unfortunately, I don't think you are fit for the race. You've been here two years, Miss Jasmine. Your performance has been static. No development. I've been hearing so many rumors about you lately. Completely lost, Miss Maha. What are you saying? Honestly, that day at the pantry, I saw you with a male colleague. Very close. We're just friends. Friends? Friends don't act like that, Jasmine. I notice everything. You are heterosexual, right? Is this some kind of phase? No. Is this a trend that you need to keep up with? It's not some trend, Miss Maha. So you still want to support this kind of sick behavior? Don't bring all this Western influence to my company, Miss Jasmine. It's not some Western influence, Miss Maha. It's a feeling. It's, it's a feeling. How do you know that you're gay, though? You just know it, right? It just happened and everything just feels so right when you're with a girl, right? It's the same for me. Everything feels so right when I'm with a guy. It's right. It's sick. It's unnatural. Why are you so horny for dick? I'm talking about feelings, Miss Maha. You're talking about genitals. Who's the horny man? How dare you talk to me like that? You're fired. But Get out. I said out. Kau ni perempuan ke laki? Sebab korang lah HIV merebat dengan luas. Ni semua budaya you barat. You haven't met the right guy yet. I'll make you straight. Lesbo. This is a sin. Aren't you afraid of what God would say? Bungkit. Homo. How do you guys have sex? Tomboy. This is against nature. Where did you learn all this? Ajaran sesat. Weh, pundai. The cure for this mental illness is to hang yourself on the ceiling. Try it. It works. As an employer, you're not allowed to terminate your staff without good cause or excuse. So if the cause or excuse becomes LGBT, I, I can see a court case coming. Lah. Because good excuse means, for example, misconduct. The employer is duty legally under the law to provide a conducive work environment that is fit for his working purposes. So I don't mean giving iPads and you know, laptops, I don't mean that. But basically where he feels safe and he doesn't feel like he is forced to leave the company. Because when he feels he's forced to leave the company, the employer has tantamountedly created um, what we call a constructive dismissal environment where uh, employees can file a complaint to the Department of Labor or Industrial Relations Department for example, where they put in situations where, let's just say, because you're LGBT, your work has been frozen. Uh, you find that uh, after you've come out or you've been outed, right, without your permission, um, you find that you've, you've suddenly been put to a corner somewhere without anyone around, you know? Or suddenly uh, you're given, you're being mocked openly, yeah? Or they're making jokes about your genitalia. So these are obviously conditions where you don't feel safe at the workplace and you can technically put aside the LGBT just as an employee you can exercise your employee rights uh, to at least tell your employers to do something better but to improve the situation the power of words really help when you put down letters believe it or not employees don't even know that they can write letters complain letters to their employers at least documenting that they were harmed. Tell them harm has been done to me. This is happening right now. And I'm feeling uncomfortable to work. In fact, I don't feel I can work under these conditions. If this continues, I will find myself constructively dismissed or forced to resign because I cannot work in this company anymore. So that should be some of what you should say to your employer. And also tell them, I hope to improve. I do not want to leave this company, I want to contribute to this company, but I need to feel safe. So if you're an employee who feels discriminated, including your LGBT status, the best thing you can do is correct it by your evidence. The Evidence Law, the Evidence Act 1950, Section 101, states that he who asserts must prove it. So the burden of proof is on you. For me, I have a habit of asking my clients to jot down what has happened to them 
you have to take a responsibility of what has happened to you in a sense of if you want to then say that and complain that you're discriminated you've got to list down what when on this date for example you know my manager sat me down and say you're LGBT you are useless to the company you are bad for the company morale the good thing about employment laws in Malaysia is that the case for termination becomes more the company's burden to bear rather than yours so tell